Hi, good morning, Trinidad and Tobago. I am Kizel Jackson. I would have wake up this morning to hundreds of messages, phone calls, um, people sending the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, I want to say this morning, I accept full liability for my actions, and we have to be true to thy own self. I accept full responsibility for what I did. And my message to women, to young girls who are looking at my live this morning or looking at my video today, in no way do I condone adultery. Adultery is not right. My actions, um, they were not right. I want to send a resounding message because sometimes we have to own our mess. And only when, only when we begin to own our mess can we really truly give a message. Now, we can't expect to plant apples and get grapes. We can't expect that karma is not a bitch and would not come back for us. I have been married twice. I have experienced um, my husband being unfaithful. And I know what it feels like. So can I say that I condone my actions? I'm not looking for sympathy, empathy. I'm not looking for nobody to even stand by me. I, I can fully stand alone and accept the liability for my own wrong. I am not saying that I am perfect. What I want to tell you this morning is that it is not about falling, you know. It is about how many times you get up. It is not about your wrong, but how you will try consistently to make it right. We are not perfect people. We will all fall and falter from some time in our life. But when people keep sending energy to you, be it negative energy or positive energy, use all the energies. Energy cannot be destroyed, but it can be transferred and transformed. When people pass stones at you, use all their goddamn stones and build yourself a pyramid. Build yourself a safe haven that you can function and focus in. Because people has, not you've done double standards, you know, but triple standard. People only begin to point fingers at you. They look at the stain. They begin to vulgarize you. They begin to um, debase you. They begin to um, sully you. They begin to spread rumors about you. But that is okay because that is the nature of people. That is the nature of humans. Love people even down to their own faults. Know that they want bad for you, but continue to want good for them. Do not allow people to make you into toxic energy. Even when people are hating you, even when people are trying to ridicule you, do not absorb that energy. Do not become the very thing that you disdain. Send back out good energy into the universe. Send back out positive thoughts for that person. Because when you begin to think evil, and when you begin to think negative, and when you begin to harbor animosity, you become an energy, not for good, but an energy for bad. And I want to use this as probably a platform for many persons that will fall because we will fall from time to time. But when you fall in life, be able to get up. Own it, first of all. Own it. Don't make an excuse for it. Own it. And then when you own it, get up and make the necessary adjustments. And that is when you become a winner. A winner is not somebody that always win, but a winner is somebody that can take their losses, that can take their defeat, yeah, that can take their fall and get up again and continue to go. And when you continue to go, you will continue to grow. So what Mr. Watson Duke is saying about me, that's okay. He can say everything dirty, nasty. He can make himself look good. Um, he can ridicule me down to the lowest. He can say what he wants to say. But he has to live with his own truth. The same way I have to live with mine. So every story has three sides. Eh? Your side, my side, and the truth. I am not even going to give my side. Because I am not looking for public sympathy, empathy, nothing of that sort. I totally accept that I am wrong, first of all. What the hell are you doing with somebody, husband? So on all accounts, I am wrong. So whatever come to me, that karma that come to me, believe me, karma is a bitch. And she had to come back to me. Um, but my message this morning is be able to fly like an eagle. Not like a pigeon, but fly above the mess. And this is how you can truly elevate yourself into your purpose and into promotion. And remember something in life above it because they do not define who you are. Only you can do that. They do not, you cannot take their interpretation or their label or their misrepresentation or representation because that belongs to them. 
What people think about you is solely their own. That is their opinion. And sometimes when you create a stain and you, you, you paint yourself in a negative way to the world, that is the piece of artwork that is before them. And that is what they see and that is what they judge you by. But I remember as a child, I pray and I ask God, God, if you so love the people, why do you allow bad things to happen? And from that, I always say that we can use our test and make it a testimony. We can use our mess and make it a message. Because I would have gone through so much in life, you know. I, like from a, from a childhood, I was sexually abused by not one person, by a few persons. And even sometimes, psychologically, this level of abuse, um, even in your adult life sometimes, sometimes still transcend in, in many different forms because uh, the level of abuse that was um, verbally issued by Mr. Watson Duke is in keeping with his character. However, my response said when he said that I did hit him, that is true. I own it. Um, is it right? No. Physical violence of any kind is not right. Um, but his mouth, I tell you, that man, he has a lot to learn. And I do pray for him. I do pray that he becomes a better person. I do pray out of the bad experiences that maybe this is the experience that God has taken to help him, to shape him, and to show him um, himself. You know, sometimes we don't see ourselves to show him a mirror image of himself. I do not have any hate, any animosity for Watson Duke, none whatsoever. His actions and his words, I do not condone. And he has to live with that. He has to live with what he did. The same way I have to live with what I did. So I wouldn't talk about him or for him, but what I will talk on this morning is about my own actions. And what I want to tell you is that people, we are all imperfect creatures. We will all do things that sometimes goes against our own um, DNA. Sometimes what we call cognitive dissonance, when your attitude and behavior is not aligned. Because personally, I am not even attracted to dark-skinned men. <laughs> That may sound like a, a, a paradox right now. But when it happened, I and all begin to question how it happened. And, and everything around that was very mysterious. Let me tell you that part. It was very mysterious. And I am going back to my spirituality. And I, I am praying a little more because a lot of things did not seem right. But I have to own my own actions. I cannot make excuses for what I do. I have to own it. So this morning, I want to say to you, let us continue to conquer. Let us continue to win. And to win, we may have to lose. Because that's the only how we can win. Because when we lose, we can get up and keep going again and again. And no matter how many times you fall, my people, I tell you, get up and keep running. Prior to Watson Duke, I was always doing my humanitarian work. I was always helping people. I was always on the ground. And I will continue to do such. I don't need a political platform to continue helping people. Up to this morning, persons reach out to me. And if I can't help you, I will help you. It is in my personality to do such. So it has nothing to do with no political platform or no looking for no political fame or nothing of that. Actually, politics costs you rather than bring anything to you. Um, so I am... Um, in a good place this morning this morning i want to thank god for life i want to thank god for another day another opportunity because we call today the present because it is the gift it is the gift that god gives us and what we do with it is our gift back to god i am very thankful and when mr duke went so far to say that i would have paid somebody to kill him i <laughs> oh Nothing that he says should surprise me. I should expect anything, but I put myself in that situation. So let me just accept everything that comes with it. All the negative energy that comes with it, I take liability for it. This morning, I hope that you can also be better and not bitter. I hope that every negative energy, every negative force that was hurled against you personally in your life, you can use it to bring forward something positive. I pray that... When you think about the people in the Bible that God used, God used David. David could be described as a murderer. David could be described as an adulterer. David could be described as many different things. 
But if you were to choose David, you and I may not choose David, but God chose David because God saw something in David's heart. I don't know. God could have probably chosen what son. God could have probably chosen me. And it's not because we are perfect people, but sometimes God sees something that not even you can see in yourself, but God sees it. But when we begin to focus on that and grow that and build that, we can become something more. Um, what is your legacy? What are you leaving behind? And I asked myself these questions. So this morning when I got up, I said, Kizel, you need to leave a video. You need to go on the live. You need to address it. I am not going to sweep my wrongs under the carpet. Listen, I pull up the whole damn carpet. Watch all the flicking dust. Watch everything that is there. And I own it. And I'm not looking for empathy, sympathy. I'm not looking for nobody to judge me, to stand by me, to give me no support. What I did was wrong. On all accounts, it was wrong. Adultery, it is wrong. So I don't want anybody to say, well, I support you. Don't support that shit. That is shit. Don't support it at all. And I really want to say to all that is watching this morning, I will only grow from this. <laughs> I would allow this experience to make me grow. Make me grow into a better person, a better human being. Because I embrace all experiences. I embrace everything. And everything is what, was what really made me who I am. You know? Um, somebody messaged me and they said that, I hope you are not thinking about suicide. I hope you are not in a state of depression. I hope that you can move forward past this. What? I have been through worse things in my life. Believe me when I tell you. I have been through worse things in my life and I am who I am today because of those things and sometimes we have to embrace everything that happens we have to learn to embrace it learn to embrace it but do not harbor hate do not harbor animosity do not harbor negative energy do not wish bad upon people even when they do bad unto you because then you become a toxic energy then you, you begin to absorb them that they can influence you. So are you in control? No, they are. You take back your control. You take back your energy and create something, even out of bad, create something good. And this morning, I want to say I love you all very much in every way. All the negative comments, I will use it and build it and help me to really see where I went wrong and to also own it. All the persons that are calling and messaging i thank you for all the calls i thank you for all the messages but be, but believe me <laughs> i am okay and i will continue my mission i will continue my humanitarian work prior to watson duke i have been doing humanitarian work and i will continue to do humanitarian work i will continue to go out in these districts and these villages i will continue to support women i will continue to support children i'll continue to support the poor i will continue to be a backbone as much as i can i will continue in my mission and if god is using this to discipline me i accept father god i accept your discipline this morning i pray today for forgiveness for where i have fallen father i am i have fallen but i will not stay down i will fly like the eagle not like the pigeon and i will rise even above this mess i expected mud slinging I expected him to pelt the mud at me, but sometimes the mud and the shit does look the same. When he pelt the mud, it smells like shit, right? So I accept that and all. I accept every negative thing that was said about me. I accept every negative energy that was pelt to me. But guess what? I am going to take all the negative and I will push back out positive. I want to say to Watson Duke this morning, I do pray that Father God will guide you. I do pray that out of this experience, you can become a better man. You have potential to be so much more than what you are doing right now. Um, people may not get to see you for who you really are, but you have the potential to be so great. But your problem is your mouth. Your problem is you are too impulsive. Your problem is you, maybe you're too grossly disrespectful. But if you, you probably use this experience, Watson, if you probably really go into some introspection and want to be better, maybe God is using this to mold you into something more. God is using this because I know what it is doing for me. And I wish the same to you. I say, uh, I must apologize on this live to Watson's wife, Kim Duke. I must apologize because... I was also a wife. I was also one that my husband was unfaithful. I know about that. I was, ma I was married two times. It almost sounds like a soap opera. If she went to get married again, you never know. 
right but i don't care to live my life based on anyone's standard but my own i am not one to be i'm very planted you know i'm very planted in my own truth i don't need anybody i don't need to to get approval from anybody for me to go for me to go forward because i am very much internally and intrinsically motivated i and i am not one to judge people either there's this young man who was in prison for murder he came out just a month ago and he was the first person this morning that i spoke to and he said kizel i was in jail for murder you knew who i am you supported me you had me publish my books you didn't judge me you know why i didn't judge him because we all have something negative in us but god can use even your negative and bring forward something positive to the haters right now i thank you because you too will help me to become better to the people right now who are else speaking me i thank you because regardless of what you say you are sending energy my way to the people right now who are ridiculing me it is okay because you are also sending energy my way to the people who lack probably something in themselves who are who are not enough and you 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 look at this you look at chaos you look at um confusion and you, you you want to spread the bacchanal you want to spread the disrespect it is okay because guess what i will use everything that you hurl um against me i will use every negative force that you felt um, at me i will use it and believe me when i use it i will become more powerful i am who i am and you are who you are and remember that people's opinion of you is just that it is dead do not own what people say learn to silence the noise sometimes because the noise can become very distraction distracting don't become overwhelmed by public perception of who you are when you know who you are just stand and live in your truth this morning i want to tell you all thank you thank you for everything thank you for every opportunity but guess what i do not stop that cannot stop me. And this is not my worst experience in life. Believe me when I...